Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Today I'm going to show you a brand new compact network switch in the successor to one of my all time favorite Ubiquiti switches, the Unify Flex Mini 2.5 Gigabit. The Flex Mini 2.5G has five 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet interfaces, and like the Flex Mini, it can be powered with USB C or PoE. The Flex Mini 2.5 is the perfect desk switch for behind your TV or your entertainment system, and it comes in at an amazing price of $49 USD. Now let's take a closer look at the Flex Mini 2.5. And here we have the Switch Flex 2.5G. On the very top of the box, it shows what the device looks like, and on the side, we have the labeling of what it's called. When we open up the box, the first thing on top is the actual switch, and it's wrapped up in this cellophane. This might be tricky to see, but on the top of the switch, we also have the Ubiquiti U branding on top, and then I'm gonna take this piece of plastic off. Now the switch does feel different than the Switch Flex. The plastic is a little bit different, which I don't mind. On the very front, we have an LED indicator, and then we have our five 2.5 gigabit ethernet interfaces. This one on the end, this is our PoE in, so that's how we could power this switch, or we could do it with the USB-C. If we're gonna be laying this on a table, there are rubber pads on the bottom, so it sticks a bit up from the table, and then we have our reset button on the back. And the only other thing that comes in the box is the power adapter for the USB-C if you're not using PoE in. PoE in for me is just a little bit cleaner, but if you don't have that option, this is always great to have in the box. Now what I'm gonna do with this switch, it will be my office switch because I have a PlayStation and I have an Xbox, but I'll end up putting double-sided Velcro on the back of it and sticking it under this table so it's a little bit more neat. Now let's get it plugged in and get it adopted into our controller. I plugged in the USW Flex 2.5G and it says that it's ready to be adopted. So we're gonna click to adopt. Now the switch is adopted. Let's take a look at some of the settings. At the top, we could see that we have the name for the switch, which is the USW Flex 2.5G 5. On port one, we have this computer that's going at 2.5 gigabit per second. And we could see that by the blue icon. My uplink is only one gigabit connecting to another switch in this office. Below that, we could see the IP address, the MAC address, the device version, the uptime, and the usage. And then we could see the parenting device. This is what I'm connected to currently, which is the Pro 8 PoE. And we could also see the wattage that this is taking. So it's at 3.15 watts. Next, if we click on the insights, we could see the history of the switch and what was happening. We could tell that I did an update for the switch and at what time and what date. There is only one record showing as this is a brand new switch to me. And we could also look at the system statistics. So this will show us our CPU and our memory. If we go over to our settings wheel, we're gonna be able to do a couple of things. We could rename the switch. I'll just call this office switch. We could do a network override with our IP settings and then we could do our IP configuration with either DHCP or make it a static IP. Under advanced, this switch is under my global switch settings. If I wanna change anything, I need to uncheck that. And then we could do things like jumble frame, flow control, or spanning tree protocol, which could do STP and rapid spanning tree. And then we could also tell it which priority we want to give to the switch. They have a couple other things, like we could turn the LED off for the switch itself. And we also have existing device configuration, manual firmware update, locate, restart, and remove which is all normal for all of their other switches. Now clicking on port manager, we could see the two ports that are in use down below. So one's going at 2.5 and one's going at one gigabit. One thing that you can't do with this switch is do aggregation. So if I click on the second port and we scroll down and we go to manual, we could see the operation mode and it's currently switching. If we hit the drop down menu, we could see switching, mirroring and aggregating and aggregating is blanked out. So we can't do this. If I click on two ports, it's gonna say that it only allows us to do the link speed, and that will be 2.5, one gigabit, 100 megabit per second, or we could do 100 megabit per second half duplex. The Flex Mini 2.5 is a layer two switch that includes the following features. We have spanning tree protocol, rapid spanning tree, port isolation, storm control, port mirroring, multicast and broadcast rate limiting, flow control, jumbo frame, and egress rate limits. It doesn't feature any layer three functionality. Now that's gonna be it for my video on the Flex Mini 2.5. Like I said at the beginning, I think it's a great switch for entertainment closets, a desk switch, or anywhere that you want a physical cable running to. For me, it's gonna be a desk switch connecting to my PlayStation and to my Xbox. 
And at the price point of $49 for a 2.5 gig switch, I think it's going to be a big seller. Let me know down in the comments below if you're going to be picking up the switch and what you're using it for. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.